Lord Jesus, give me the strength to give YouTube viewers what they want. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Me and Dive and Dave, we're, uh, we're on a, a little excursion. We're gonna go do a, a quick hike at Metacomet Trail in, uh, in New Britain. And uh, we're just driving over there. You know, the COVID-19 virus, man, it's got nothing on us. We're believers in the Lord. And we're gonna go out, we're gonna hike this trail. We're gonna, we're gonna get up to the top, we're gonna praise, and we're gonna give honor. And then uh, we're gonna get out and get some fresh air. I mean, you know, we, uh, people are saying social distancing. Uh, Dave, well, Dave, I guess, might be a little too close to me, but you know what? I love Dave. It's my boy, man. So we're going out here. Oh my God, look at this. There's a million people. Hold on. We're rolling up to the trail and there's there's like tons of people up at the trail here. Look at this. This is awesome, man. Yeah, people, let's go. We're not letting COVID-19 rule what we're doing. We're, we're Look at this all the way up here. Wow, this is so awesome. Well, stay tuned, everyone. I'm going to uh, probably do a couple of uh, minutes of footage going up the mountain, maybe some views up top, and then uh, our hike down. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Hit the like and subscribe button. Nice. Looks like the tree fell down over here. But, uh, yeah, man, this is awesome. We out here in the woods. We're social distancing. And, uh, man, this is such a beautiful sight. Check it out. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, and guess what? We veered off the blue trail and we don't know where the heck we are. Dave's like, hey, let's just follow that riverbed all the way up. We got uh, a cool little river. And I'm like, dude, I don't see any blue marks on any trees because these are specifically marked blue trail, red trail, whatever, so on and so forth. And then they split off. Um, but hey, we're going uphill. Look at Dave pointing. He doesn't even know. There's one of those, those cars. Oh yeah, let's go over there and check out one of the cars, dude. There's cars in the middle of the woods. Hold on, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna climb over that big branch. Hold on, can you see it? I'm trying to look for it in the camera. We're gonna climb over that big tree right there that I'm pointing at, and we're gonna get across, and then we're gonna go up, and in the woods over there, there is an abandoned car. How the hell did it get here? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Stay tuned. What do you think, Davey? Don't walk, don't walk on that. Don't walk on that? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know if I have enough balance to get across that, Dean. Should we jump to that one? Holy cow. You want to jump? <laughs> it's up to you. Dave, you're nuts. Not what me. happens if I fall in the water, Dave? Uh, you have insurance on your phone, right? Oh, I think... I, I think... Do you have insurance on your phone, right? <laughs> um, I think... I think that... Um, I think that they're waterproof. All right, perfect. I, I have trust in you. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. Look at me. Woo, woo, woo. That's craziness. All right, bro. Yeah, now, as we're walking up to this, it's like, how the heck did this car get in the middle <laughs> of the woods? Yeah, babe, that's crazy. Yeah, look, the distributor, the pistons. All teased up. Hey, we should probably try to carry this out, Dave, see if we can rebuild it. All right. Yeah, right. Look at this, this is kind of kind of weird, man. Like, the way that it's leaning up against the trees and... Hey, Dave. Yeah. Take the camera. I'm going to take this thing for a ride. Right. Woo! Let me put a rock down so I don't get my butt dirty. All right. That's a good seat. Yeah. Cruising. Yeah, baby! <laughs> We're in the middle of the woods.
Woods, we're four wheeling now. <laughs> Woo! Wow. All right, y'all, Dave's showing off. <laughs> I hope I make it. Oh, Lord, here we go. Well, there ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? See, the funny thing is, is that I'm trying to video record this, and that's when I'm going to mess something up. Yeah, baby. Well, I can tell you, Dave was just talking about cardio. This is my workout for the week. I got to tell you, this has been tougher than some of the, the cardio stuff that I've been doing. <clears throat> Actually, last night I went and walked three miles down at the park. I did a speed walk. Today we're doing a, today we're doing a hike, trying to get some, uh, some uh, good, good oxygen, good mojo. But I'll tell you, I'm already winded, guys. And I, we haven't even been out here. What? We've been out here 15, 20 minutes. That's it. 10 minutes, maybe. I don't know. And, uh, whoo. We're about to climb up this big hill. Hold on. Follow Dave. Or try to follow Dave. Either way. Here we go. This is some rough terrain right here, boy. The best part of social distancing is being out somewhere with a good friend, a brother in Christ, sharing a beautiful day, getting your exercise in, talking about things that are happening in your life, and not having to fight over toilet paper in the toilet paper section. How are you doing on uh, toilet paper, Dave? I stocked up ahead of time. Yeah, good. I got spaghetti too, so if anybody needs some spaghetti, put a comment down below, and we'll see if we can't get you a box. Dave's got me going crazy over here, man. He's got me walking up these steep, huge, crazy, steep hills. Oh yeah. Hey, we're coming up on another one of those cars in the middle of the woods. Seriously, if you look at the terrain, how the heck they get here? I couldn't even start to tell you. Dave just yelled out, it's an old truck. Yeah, an old Bronco. In the middle, it's flipped over. It's flipped over on, on its roof. Unbelievable. This is great. Well, hold on. This is awful. It's in the middle of the woods. No to all my viewers. Don't litter in the woods. This is littering. Where are the... What, what, how could you not know that this is littering? The animals, they live here. And you just pooped in their house. All right, y'all. We came to the point in... Uh, in our trail walking that uh, Dave said to me, hey, we're gonna have to climb up. We're gonna have to climb up that hill right there. Uh, you might wanna take the video camera out. And I'm like, Dave, <laughs> you're nuts, dude. I don't even know if I can make it up there. But I'm sure as heck gonna try, guys. Lord Jesus, give me the strength to give YouTube viewers what they want.
little fella. God bless America. All right, y'all. That's where I just came from. Man, oh man. But now I feel like I'm at the top of the world, baby. Look at all that beautiful stuff out there. Okay, y'all. Dave thinks that I'm gonna climb up this thing all the way up to where he is right there, right? And he's giving me motivational talks all the way up, right? All right, y'all. I'll admit it. I didn't make it up because I got scared. But uh, knowing my limitations is another part of being responsible. But again, what comes up must go down. <laughs> and I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get down from here, but I'm gonna try it. Wish me luck. Yeah. So this dude, right, he was in China. His wages per month was $7. Yep. He went to college at the time in China, but he wanted to go to an American university. Yeah. To do the uh, the transcripts and like the placement test was sixty dollars, but he only made seven dollars a month. Okay. So this dude, what he would do was, um, he would just continue to study and, and continue to work on himself, um, with hope that um, he'd be able to get to the university in America. Well, he um, he's like, well, I don't have the money and I don't have the means, so what do I have? So he's like, I have 24 hours in a day. So does everybody else. So what he did was he trained himself to sleep six hours a night instead of eight hours a night. So that way he got an extra two months out of every year. Okay. So he spent those extra two months studying. So he got he used 14 months out of the year when most people are only using 12. Okay. Okay. Um, so this guy, so he was studying at this university in China and this American professor came and he, um, and he's like, he had the specific curriculum that he was working on and nobody was at the lecture to watch him. So this, this man happened to be in his dorm room and a friend of his told him to come there. Well, he actually studied this whole um, curriculum three times over. So he knew it inside and out. So when the professor from America, oh. you good? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the professor from America was like, "How do you know all this?" He's like, "I've studied it all." He's like, "How would you like to go to America and study at a university?" And from him being there, he says it's luck, and he says that everybody has luck. It's like a bus, and it just keeps coming around. But if you don't have the toll, meaning the tools and knowledge to get on the bus, you won't get on. You have to come to meet the bus and have the toll. Are you listening? Are you listening to this? This is good, good stuff. He's one of the top uh, manufacturers for Microsoft today. I can't believe that. But here's the other thing, right? David mentioned luck, and I, I totally understand where he's coming from, but I mentioned God. Everyone has God, and he keeps going around and around <laughs> on a bus until you decide, right? right? Until you decide that you're going to put your trust in him. Whew, what an amazing story. That's an amazing story. This is why I like coming out here, man. Social distancing. The view from here is just like totally awesome. I'm actually like, look, look, take a look at this, right? So I'm laying here and like there's a cliff. I actually slipped and fell, but you know, who cares? And uh, yeah, this is it. All right, onward. Whoa. Ow. Yeah, these rocks are sharp, man. And slippery. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? 
nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. I can see a blue uh, marker on the tree up here. So we're obviously on the right way. We've got humanity walking towards us, which is probably also good, knowing that uh, we got uh, some life here. Let me get a cut them off. Whew. Well, we're working our way out, and uh, when we get to the bottom, I'll check back in with you guys. Every so often on a trail like this, you see this beautiful, this looks like a tree that fell over and the roots are just pulled right out of the ground and it's just been there for like so many years. But it's just so cool to look at. Yep, there it is. Look at that whole big tree that goes down all the way down. It's probably been 10, 15, 20 years. Look at this. There's rocks that are actually inside of the, of the uh, roots of the tree. And then one day, blammo. When a tree falls in the middle of the woods, and nobody's around, does it make noise? Hmm, something to think about. All right, y'all, we're heading back. We finally found the trail back, and right out here in the middle of nowhere, there's this uh, <laughs> bridge of some sort, which is kind of cool. Awesome, yeah, look at Dave. <laughs> yeah, Dave, let's bounce on this sucker a little bit, make sure it'll hold us. Wow. Yo, this is this seriously, man. Seriously, let me let me have a talk with you guys for a second. So check it out, right? If you haven't been out here, let me get a good shot here. All right, check this out, right? If you haven't been out in nature, do yourself a favor, right? Love yourself today. Get out here. Put some hiking shoes on. Grab the person that you love, whether it be a friend, a girlfriend, a wife. A, a, a member of the church, a schoolmate, whatever the case may be, and just come out here and enjoy the day. Like, you can't get any better than this. It's like, it's super cool. Like, the, the, I mean, come on, seriously. Your life matters. Enjoy it. Don't tie your star to a rock. Let that star, that star soar as far as it can go, man. Don't limit yourself. You know, be responsible, but don't limit yourself and just do the right thing, man. And and look at the rewards that God gives us. I mean, just, I mean, a beautiful day out here, enjoying the day. I got a great video to share with YouTube tonight. It's like, it's it's awesome, right? All right, y'all, it's the end of the video. And uh, I just wanted to say, you know, I had a great time. We found all the cars. There's hundreds of people out there just walking around, having a good time. And uh, man, what a great time we had. And we're just walking over to the vehicle now and... Uh, and that's it. So, uh, Godspeed. If you liked our video, like and subscribe. Hit that uh, bell notification so that you can know when I'm doing my next video. And uh, that's it. We'll talk to you soon. Can you imagine living in that house right there and being able to walk these trails every morning? Start your day. <laughs>